Beautiful Moon, A Child's Prayer, written by Tanya Bolden, illustrated by Eric Velasquez. The amber orb floats, washing the night with a radiant glow. Stars hide, only city lights glitter. It's not a silent night. Car horns beep and blare. There's music in the air, and someone calls out, I love you. A little boy wakes up, scrambles out of his bed, drops to his knees. He forgot to say his prayers. Just before he shuts his eyes, he spots a wonder in the sky. What a beautiful moon, he whispers. Then he bows his head. Blocks away a woman, bundled up, a park bench, her bed, gazes at the beautiful moon, willing herself warm. The little boy prays for people with no homes. Closer by, a man on a train gives no heed to night sights speeding by. He does not see the beautiful moon. His mind is on his daughter, a soldier in a distant land. The little boy prays for wars to end. Across town, an old man in a hospital room wishes for a window, imagining if he could see a starry night or behold a beautiful moon, he would slip into soothing sleep. The little boy prays for the sick to be healed. Around at the corner, by the light of the beautiful moon, sad souls stare at bare kitchen cabinets, longing to see them stocked with rice and beans, noodles and peas, chicken soup and cereal. The little boy prays for people, little and big, to have the food they need. And the little boy prays for Grandma Grace, for Mommy, Daddy, for his baby sister Sydney, for Mikey, his turtle, for his teacher to read a story every day. He promises that when tomorrow night comes, he won't forget to pray. And the beautiful moon goes on its way. Now, if you remember a couple weeks ago, we were reading about Daniel and about Moses and also the importance of praying. There is no prayer that is too big and too small for our God. So remember, before you go to bed, let's kneel down to pray. Till we read again.